Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman. Hey Twink, those guys have stopped paying attention once again. Let's sneak out of here, we might be able to help find some news to help Mario. They think it's still safe to use the secret path? Don't you think Bowser's figured it out by now? He's still alright, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here, come on. So anyways, hello everyone, my name is Master Star Man. welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario. In this part, we are going to be sneaking around the castle even more, because the guards and Bowser are major idiots. And this one, we should actually be leaving the room again for once. Yeah, I know, it feels like a long time since we've done this. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to go to where I think we have to go, Sue. Um, see, so yeah, lots of stuff has been happening for me. Oh, I think we actually have to go this way. Uh, who are you? Oh, it's this tubble art of game. Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone just calls me the gourmet guy for some reason. I guess you better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what. I tell you what, you just ate a cake in the last chapter. Come on, dude. Really? Do you have to be this friggin' tubby? But ah, well, he does give us our castle key, which is really nice. Anyways, um, so a lot of stuff has been happening for me these past couple days, and these guards are so stupid they can't notice that we actually open up a door here. Um, what some of the major stuff has been happening around here is that, oh, really quickly, I think this is the door we actually have to go to. If it isn't, I'm wrong. Uh, no, but this is a nice door to go to, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Because you can find a toad in here. Oh no, I'm kind of sure. Hey, hey, Princess Peach, you okay? Thank the stars. You're a toad from the castle. How long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into this closet. I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all. Princess Peach, you ought to hide too. It's risky out there. Please don't take any chances. Okay, someone's clearly afraid. And in here... Oh, this is one of the best the badges I was looking for. I'm so transferring this as soon as possible. When Mario, if you didn't see what that did, when Mario's in danger, cuts damage in half. That is about as damn useful as Power Rush, and I'm going to transfer that right now. So, Peach is pretty much a godsend for this 10 HP run. And I'm just going to warn you, Eventually, after ch one of the chapters, you will not be able to send badges to uh, Mario again. So you want to get Power Rush and Last Stand. Okay. Oh my, that is such a good badge. We'll be sure to pick that up again now that I think we actually have a lot of star pieces now from the last chapter. And there's a certain badge I'm looking into picking up right now, shortly anyways. Anyways, uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff has been happening. Um, Really quickly, I'm just going to say that today is February 26th, as of the time of recording this, and we have arrived in a kitchen. Well, here's the kitchen, so what should we do first? Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook, let's use it. How does it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Hang on a second. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good, let's whip it up. Well... Okay, please, listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Okay, then. Well, thankfully, there's a bowl right there, so place this in here. As I'm cooking this, I'm just going to say that uh, February 26th is actually my birthday, so you can, if you want to, you can wish me a late happy birthday, and yeah, I'm just saying that I've been having a pretty good birthday so far, and yeah, mix them with the ingredients in the bowl. Okay, sure. So when I say start pressing as fast as you can for 10 seconds to mix the batter. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. I hate these types of mini games from playing Mario Party. Thankfully, there's nothing specific, no retarded enemies you have to face. 
Oh yeah. You don't actually have to be all that bad at that, I mean, you actually can do really bad at that. Put flour and butter in the bowl. Go ahead, princess. So yeah, um, go ahead and feel free to wish me a late happy birthday. I actually got a birthday retweet from, uh, Josh Jepson earlier today on Twitter, which I want to thank, uh, him for that. If I doubt you're watching this at all, and if you are, I'd be really surprised, but props if you are. Actually, I know for a fact you probably aren't. Anyways, after you mix the ingredients in your bowl, pour it into the pan. All right, sure. Thankfully, we don't have to do that A-tapping game again. And now here we have to pay attention to something that's going to be kind of annoying in a second. Um. Now, bake batter in the oven for 30 seconds. This thing is being is reused in Thousand Year Door, and it's actually really, really annoying. Okay, you can put the cake in the oven with A. Press A after 30 seconds. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until my clock reaches the... Okay, I think I know when to stop here. Okay, then... So yeah, my birthday's been going pretty good, um... Other than that, though, like... Not really anything else has been, like, going on too much. Uh, but I will say one thing, though. Um, I'm hoping I actually do this correctly here. Okay, that should be done there. Let's hope I did this right. Okay, then, now I think we have to... Decorated with cream and strawberries. Alright, sure. Um, one thing I guess I'll say is that I've actually been playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Which I know is something that a lot of people are probably, like, ask, have probably been wondering if I was going to play it yet. And yeah, I've been playing Skyward Sword recently. And... We're gonna take a cake over that friggin' tub of lard. Thankfully, they actually take the liberty of cutting straight towards this place, which is really convenient. Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Nothing wasted away. Thank you. Oh. 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 Delicious! This is way too delicious! And once again, I still ask how we can move that fast! Phew, that was really good! I haven't felt this way since, well, ever. To show you my gratitude, I'll tell a secret. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Islands. This island is to the south. You should tell this tomorrow. But you better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. You better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava, Lava Lava Island, Star Spirit's being held inside that volcano. Could Mar Mario could really use this information, huh? Yes, he could. Twink, I'm so sorry, I must keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will, I'll do it right now. I'll be back soon, Prince Peach. What's with all this shouting? Keep it quiet in here. Oh, it's Kami Koopa. Wrong voice. <laughs> so, I'm still Princess Peach. You gotta keep it down. You're a prisoner, and as a prisoner, you need to keep... What? Why? What are you doing out of your room anyway? <laughs> Guards, get the princess. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Yeah, and... So yeah, I've been playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword recently. Actually, there's one more thing I gotta explain is this next ability coming up here. Boo, ah, fresh air. After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use a bit of exercise. My name is Muscular Mario. I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you out. Behold. Oh, 
Mario's star energy goes up to 4. Mario can now use Chillo, a new star power. The Chillo, you can lower the attack power of all enemies. This is an amazing attack. Mario, Mario, I have news from the castle. Gasp, honorable star spirit. Hi. Hmm. I believe you are Twink. No, you're that youngster recently ascended from Star Park Valley up in Star Heaven. What? You remember our name? Hi, yeah, well, of course. We, we're like family. I, I, I'm so touched. Oh, don't make me such a boss. I'm sure you're going to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye. Thanks, Mario. Wow, I talked with Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit. I really have such a chance, even at Star Haven. I'm shaking. Oops, I'm sorry. I have some important news from the castle. According to the information Prince Peach and I got, it seems one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You shouldn't believe what... You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. Hope it will be of this help. Alright, so anyways... I've been playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword recently, and here are my initial impressions. When I first played the game, or when I first saw the trailers and stuff, I wasn't really too excited for it, but I've gotten pretty much up to the second dungeon in the game, and I'm honestly enjoying the game a lot. I'm... I really am. I've owned the game for only about a day now, and... I think it's a good game. It's certainly a challenge, and that's what I'm aiming to expect from it. And I'm kind of happy for that because outside of Ocarina of Time, many of the 3D Zelda games aren't that challenging. Like, Majora's Mask can be confusing, but if you know what you're doing, that game can actually become fairly easy when you know what you're doing. Um. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess can be more so annoying, especially Wind Waker, than they are challenging. And... I don't know. Holy crap, I have a lot of star pieces. Um, actually... Um... Feeling fine is a good badge. Um, let me think. What do I want? Um... Eh... You know, that... Wait, hold on. How much is required for this? Three. Ah, uh, nah. Um, I'm gonna go with pretty lucky for now. Oh, it requires three as well. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna say what some of these badges here do, and I'll, I'll actually show what all these effects are. Changes the sound effects of Mario's attacks, uh... More damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. Oh, hard badge, I guess. Uh, chill out, keeps you from being hit by first strike, really nice badge. Pretty lucky, makes enemies fail to attack sometimes. Fairly nice badge, I guess. Feeling fine, protects Mario from status inflictions, very nice badge. Happy heart and happy flower, restores HP and FP at a small rate during battle sometimes. Peekaboo, makes it possible to see enemy HP at all times, which is fairly nice. But, at the same time, it's not a badge I use too often, because if you... It's only... It can only be really helpful if to, like, actually see how much HP your enemies have left. And that's actually what I'm gonna buy here, actually, now that I think about it. I like this... I like the badge. It's just... It takes up a lot of BP for what you kind would kind of need for some certain things. So, yeah. Anyways, um... What's my level here? Level 8, I think? Yeah. And I don't have any BP, unfortunately. Um, what can I take off? Uh, unfortunately, wait, am I close to a level up here? Not really. Um, I'm probably gonna fight a couple enemies in the beginning of the next chapter so I can get some points to upgrade, but at least Last Stand doesn't require any defense at all to friggin' upgrade. Okay, I noticed this one here in editing, but whenever I said this, I was crossing through so many thoughts. I said, first I said that I didn't even explain that 
how why peekaboo is a badge I don't often tend to use in harder boss battles. Second, I immediately say Last Stand is a badge that can be upgraded multiple times when really I was referring to the partners in the game. I don't know why! Like, god, do I have to think of every single thought at once here? So, yeah, I'm probably gonna upgrade at least to 25 FP and I think I'm at 15 BP right now. Yeah, I am, so... Eh, I don't know what I'm gonna upgrade to. Probably just gonna upgrade BP and FP once more until I'm on, like, level 10 or something like that. But anyways... Um... Oh, this is a nice badge here, all or nothing. I didn't know he had this available for sale so early. Okay, this is a nice badge. If the action command works, the attack power is increased. If not, it does no damage. It's a risky badge, but when you use it properly, it is very helpful. I'm just saying that. If you can master your action commands, it can be a really, really helpful attack. And now that we actually have some better stats here, I'm gonna actually head into the sewer and fight a new boss here because we haven't actually shown off any of the bosses in the sewer yet. And I figure that seeing as how I have Chill Out, I have Zap Tap and Watt, I think I'm gonna fight a new boss that is through this area here. Blooper! This being the boss here. I believe this is, I think, Electro Blooper, yes. Electro Blooper. Eh, I don't know what I can say about him, really. Um... I think he has 60 HP and... Eh, I don't know, really. Ah, oh, I missed out on my last action plan by like a split second there. Um... I believe he has a, has a lot of HP, but other than that, he isn't too damn threatening. Um... Oh my... Really? Look at how dangerous this is going to become. Yeah, that's a good attack there. When I get the attack boost while having a turbo charge up. That, that's really nice. And Watt's able to do a lot of damage too. And he is electrified now, which doesn't bother us when we have Zap Tap on. Even though his attack is actually going to do a lot of damage. Um... I guess if you have hammer, th hammer throw and charge hammer, that might also not be a bad idea here. And I'm actually going to be using a new combo here, a new attack here, I like to call. Ah, uh, yeah, wait, oh, do oh, I miss- That was a major waste of a turn. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Actually, I should try to see if I can show off Watt's other attack. I know this is an electricity-based enemy. But, um, I'm gonna actually try Watt's new attack here. Um, let's try Power Shock on this guy. Press A repeatedly. Nope, that did not work. I might try my Turbo GameCube controller here in a second to see if that will do any more. But for now, let's try our Chill Out attack here because we haven't used this out yet. And it lowers an enemy attack power by minus three for roughly about five turns. So, this is a good badge, basically. That's all I'm saying about it. Um, I'll use Turbo Charge again, why not? I'm starting to get some reasonable FP here. I can start using my attacks here a little bit more. Okay, so this thing has, like, electrocution, because that's really not too threatening, to be perfectly honest. And, and, okay, he's already defeated. Electro Blooper isn't honestly that bad, but I recommend having Zap Tap on so you can actually do some damage to him. And when he's defeated, he reveals these war pipes, which will take you to Goomba Village, Koopa Village, and Dry Dry Outpost. And... I, my uh, spell that I activated when I had to replay through chapter 2, that's still in effect right now, so I'm not complaining about that. Um, this here, we're not able to do that yet. We need another party member to do that. There's actually the third bloopers through there, and oh, oh, I hate this. I hate this bat part here. 
Yep, we have to fight three more enemies before we can proceed onward, just like the Cooper Bros Fortress and the other spot that we had this. Um, these are Dark Koopas. Only difference is that whenever they're grinning, they have this annoying ass attack, which surprisingly did no damage to us. I don't honestly think I have any damage boosting badges outside of Last Stand, so I don't know how that didn't affect me there, but... What it does is that it has the ability to confuse you, which, or Dizzy, I think, actually, which is really freaking annoying if you can do that. I believe if, uh, Cooper's on super rank, he actually gets the attack up. Um, uh, what's it called? Dizzy Shell, which, we're actually gonna be able to get Cooper on super rank, but anyways, cutting out these next two battles here. And there's the stupid Dizzy t thing coming into play. Um, if you want a good party member for this, um, I think I actually know who I'm gonna use this time. Ooh, level up actually, never mind. Uh, level up, I'm gonna be upgrading my FP to 25, which is roughly halfway through my FP level ups here. I'm actually gonna try Bombette here because she now has a. She can use a super attack. Actually, I have a better idea, I just leveled up, so my strategy is refilled, and I actually have a combination that will take these guys out for sure. Using this old joke again. What the fu- BOOM! You deserve that, and you get a lot of start points for this. Very nice for this point in the game if you are underleveled like I am. That's why I wanted to initially come here beforehand and do some of the stuff you could do here. And also, the two, the first two party members we got, as you see, aren't, a, aren't super rank yet. I wanted to get those two super rank before or this because I knew that there was a couple upgrade blocks we can get in the sewer here. Anyways, right here we can use Watt to notice that there's a couple of these blocks here. And, yeah, so it's down here. If you can look up there, there's actually a uh, upgrade block over there, which is pretty nice. And I don't know if we need park here or not to make these. It definitely doesn't look like it. No, we don't. And, yep, upgrade block. For this, I'm going to be upgrading... Eh, yeah, sure, why not upgrade Gumbaro? We haven't upgraded Goombaro, or used Goombaro in a very long time. And I'm actually kind of initially surprised at uh, YouTube user Nintendo LP because um, he's doing a Let's Play Paper Mario right now. He's a really big fan of Goombaro. Like, I mean, he, he tattles on, like, any new enemy or boss and also uses Goombaro a lot in general. And yet, surprisingly, Goombaro is only in his Let's Play is only normal rank, which I find really surprising. But anyways, there's also the other half of this path over here that we haven't gone to yet, I, as long as there is. Yep, need the uh, super hammer to get through here, and snowman doll. Alright, I'll take that. Anyways, through here we have a warp pipe. Um, okay, I was in this side of the area before. I don't have Spike Shield on, so... Oh, I do have Spike Shield on, never mind about that one there. Uh, unfortunately, Goombaro, I don't think, will benefit too much in this battle here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have Watt here just for these stupid Buzzy Beetles. Because, uh... Buzzy Beetles, Watt's damage piercing and can take out... Enemies and... He can take out a lot of really high defense enemies in just one hit, which is why Watt is really nice. And if I just called Watt a he, I'm sorry, I know Watt's a she, but even still, sometimes people forget about these things. Uh, I must have Spike Shield equipped, I didn't actually think I did, but I guess I did. Anyways, you're dead, and next turn you will for sure be dead because you cannot do much to me. And now I think this guy actually literally has one HP left, so... Yup! <laughs> oh, jeez, that's really about as far as it can go there. Oh, my god. 
Oh, well, we're getting some money here too, anyways, just in case we somehow end up getting enough to afford all or nothing. Um, what is this? Power Smash, okay. That's a badge I was wondering where uh, we were going to be getting it. It's obviously the hammer equivalent to Power Jump. Um, not really too useful as of this point in the game, unfortunately. Like, I still say Power Jump is ever so slightly better for this point in the game. Although, in the Chapter 6, we actually end up getting a, uh, the Mega an Upgrade to Power Jump. Or it's, it's an upgrade to one of the power moves. It's actually a, an item called... Uh, it's actually a Mega version of it and does at least twice the damage that Power Jump can do. So, it's really nice. Anyways, I'm going to be using Park Hair here. I think I did show this stuff off here in the original Chapter 2 recordings, but never again since then. Um, Star Peace. Um, check it to see. There's a first strike around here, which I'm just going to be running away from because, er, nah, I'll fight these guys, I guess. It's going to be kind of an annoying fight, I guess, but... Yeah, let's let's have them work Mario and Watt working on separate enemies, because Watt can take out two enemies that Watt can take out uh, enemies on by herself, really. She's way more than powerful enough being able to fix four HP of damage per hit. So yeah, it would probably take the same amount of turns either way, but at least we'd be able to get a little bit more productive productivity done beforehand. <clears throat> These enemies really aren't even hard to guard against either, to be perfectly honest. I kind of would like to be able to buy the all or nothing badge, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford enough coins by the time to, I go back to Toe Town to be able to afford it anyways. I'll pick it up before Chapter 6 because it's a really good badge. I'll certainly have enough by the time Chapter 6 is over anyways to be able to afford all or nothing. Please head down here. If there's anything I missed in the sewer, oh, okay, well that's an upgrade we can't get, however, we will be able to get that in post chapter 5, so I will be able to remember that. <clears throat> and, yeah, excuse me there for a second, like, like, I'm talking a lot here, because there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot more, I kind of wanted to come down here, because we weren't normally going to be doing much, because chapter 4 obviously takes place in Toad Town, and I'm going to save, and if I have to freaking redo this whole chapter and this I'm gonna be annoyed because this is already up to 27 minutes of post crap. I guess on another related note, uh, yeah, Alex and I actually ended up recording the rest of uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror recently and I'm really looking forward to releasing the rest of that LP because I had a lot of fun editing it and working on it and <clears throat> we're really looking forward to releasing it, and we also do have our next Let's Play plan, and we're going to start recording that shortly on, but, yeah. Anyways, the only place we haven't been to is Chuck Quizmos. No, not really. Anyways, let's try another quiz here. Let me go straight to the question. Question. What ability does Gumbari frequently use? Um, Tattle. Yes, alright. Actually, I'm curious, what is Goombario's basic first attack? Actually, now we have five star pieces, so I'm able to afford the Peekaboo badge now that I think about it. Actually, I got six now that I think about it. Yeah. What's Goombario's basic attack? I'm confused about that. Um, Head bonk, that's what it was. I mean, it, it has the same effect as jump, so that's why I got a little confused there. But yeah, it's head bonk, not jump. Um, over here, this is a place known as Club 64. Um, this is actually a place I didn't even know existed until, like, just a couple, like, maybe last year or something like that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, there is something right here that, that, it, there's actually a side quest for an optional badge called, like, well, I think it's, like, I don't remember what it is even called, actually, to be perfectly honest. Um, there's something here, and oh, hey, look, it's Colorado here. Uh, there is something here that I want to get. I'm not sure what it is, though. Coin block. 
Oh, Archer. Hmm, who do you say? Well, my dear chap, it's not only in Colorado, the famous archaeologist of the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, for once, I'm traveling very well. I'm all on the search of something a diabolical mystery. It seems that there are ancient treasures waiting inside a volcanic cave. That fits in the way, would you see? Hmm. Take it out, Colorado. How can you cross the sea? Hmm. Uh, he has a point. Um. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Wait, what? What? What the heck is this thing that we're standing on? Ouch! What are you doing? Oh, hello. Oh, good heavens. I was wondering what this would be. It seems to be a huge tuna. Oh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. And, you have, and I have problems. It feels like something jumping around my belly. Oh, help me. Hmm, that's it. It's Okay, now coming up here, we actually have a mini boss coming up here. However, I'm just gonna say this is the only time in the game when there's an actual boss fight that you can't actually use Tattle on. Because the area is so dark, you actually need to friggin' use Watt in order to light this place up here. Anyways, when you actually get into the battle here, here we have, I, I'm pretty sure this is known as Buzzipede. Yes, Fuzzipede. Fuzzipede has uh, 40 HP, I believe. His attack power is pretty low, and he can go on the ceiling, and that's about all he can do. He has not anything really too threatening to talk home about. If he goes on the ceiling, you might want to end up using a uh, walk form, and if you use something like that, uh, chill out. Bosses become a total joke, I'm sorry, but bosses can become a total joke when you use chill out. And can you really, do you really have to go on the ceiling for that, to be perfectly honest? Don't climb up there all the way, come on game, don't do this to me, please don't do this to me. Uh, this ends up just being this is just gonna end up being me trying to do that the entire time, so, uh... A snowman doll is gonna be really nice in the next chapter, so... Mm. Oh, sweet. He actually did come back- Oh! <laughs> really, game? The spell came into play now again? I don't even need the spell at a time like that, and... Okay, I guess I was wrong about him having 40 HP. I guess it's, uh... That was just 12. I guess he only has 20 HP. It's really hard to tell because... He... Or maybe 25, I guess. I don't know. It's just that you can't use Tattle on him, so it's like really hard to tell how much HP he has. Although I'm sure there are sources like Mario Wiki that say how much. Hey, I see, boy, you're that dumb old fish that... Me up and swallow me whole. You plumb idiot. I know it's not a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth wide open. I uh, suppose I can make me just watch it. Or I reckon I at least should take care of y'all. Woo, it feels so much better now. Woo. And he calls us Dr. Mario, even though we are Dr. Mario right now. Anyways, seems like the three of us all have something that we're going to be going to Mount Lava Lava. Or, um, Lava Lava Island for. So, you know what I say? Let's go to Ma Lava Lava Island. Oh, sure, this should save. Make some room then. The three of us are going to Lava Lava Island. I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. <laughs> oh, jeez, Colorado. 